All right, all right. Yes, thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports7GH. It's always a pleasure to have you join us. Yes, we are going to bring you some very latest news in the world of football. Um, some Ghanaian players are getting um, some good news and then we are going to bring you all the details. Transfer news. Here we go. Hit two Black Stars players. We are going to give you the details. Joseph Pencil, um details is here. Nathaniel Opoku. Yes, we are going to bring you some exclusive news on him also. And then we'll see how things go in this particular video. Yes, so do well to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and select all. Like this video and leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any. It's always a pleasure to have you join us do well to hit the notification bell so let's start from joseph pencil joseph pencil is a fantastic black stars player Ghanaian player who does very 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 well for his club side um krc jeng yes um, in fact they started their league the 2023 2024 season they started it they played their first league game versus our wdm um in the belgian league over there and this club won krc jeng is a top team they won they beat the newly promoted side rwdm um heavily on that particular um or in that particular game and then joseph pinsu gave two assists yes he has started giving his assist you know that he's the man of assist he gave two assists um on the day and then his team also won convincingly last season he scored about 18 goals and had about 15 6 14 assists overall in the season so he had double numbers in terms of assists and that is very very remarkable for joseph Finn. so we've not really heard a lot of transfer news about him since the transfer window opened but then we we are trying to or we are still in the news and we will be hoping to see if any transfer news come around him, we will bring you um, on this particular channel, um, Sports 7 g So you have to subscribe to the channel and stick and stay with that. But then he has just left off where he ended last season in terms of his form. He's picking up his form and then um, doing very well for KRLC. Jack. Don't forget that um, beginning of the season, he was voted as um, one of the three best players um for last season for the club kiran Jen, he was one of their best three players so he tells you that he's doing very very well in belgium now let's talk about the next um story the next story is also in belgium nathaniel poku for oh leuven um also scored a goal for his club in their opening day football um their opening day game that they played um this particular weekend or yesterday nathaniel opoku um scored to rescue a point for his club he's a top 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 player for his club he extended his loan deal for the club um after last season you know that um leicester city bought him okay beginning of last season or i think it was in january when they bought him and then they loaned him out to oh leuven um to the end of the season and then leicester city um has gone to relegation championship and so he decided to extend his loan deal with a belgian club by one season and then continue to play for the club and that is why nathaniel poku is playing for oh leuven now um he will look to go back to leicester city after next season but then if you look at last season he also did very well for his club um even though he played some few games just coming in in january but then he scored some three four goals for them and then making one or two assists for them he was a very very important player for the club last season and that's the reason why they also accepted that he should continue the loan season in fact they insisted that he should continue the loan season for them and then he's doing very well nathaniel opoku over there now yeah new black star striker you know that this particular striker um joined the black stars um when we were playing the madagascar game yes he had his first national team call up for the senior national team the black stars when we were playing the madagascar game and then um his name is hafiz konkoni bechem united striker he has moved from the ghana premier league from bechem united to tanzanian champions young africans in fact last season young africans went all the way to the calf confederations cup finals so uh, it means that it's a very very top club in africa currently 
and this particular player is going to play for them um he's he's signed for them and then he's going to be their new striker but Chem united last season in the ghana premier league he scored about 13 goals 14 yes goals for he was the second top scorer in the ghana premier league the first top scorer was um bbn Gustas striker um zlatan yeah and um hafiz konkuni was the second top scorer but then everybody those people who don't really follow the ghana football um remember him with the senior national team the black stars where he had his first call up to the black stars um in that particular afghan qualifier versus madagascar and he has completed his move to tanzanian champions young africans now let's look at this particular story mohammed salisu is a top black stars player who is looking to move um from his club southampton that is in the championship to um, play for as monaco yes um, as monaco is where you'll be playing you know that last season mohammed salisu wasn't really playing um for for for, for Sarantin because of injuries and then they reached a point where they said that look it looks like this player he wants to leave our club so let's bench him so that he will not get enough play time but it's funny how they thought like that because you were going on relegation and you you think that you had a luxury to be benching players but it was their it was their problem but then this transfer window monaco has shown that they really wanted the player because they had their first two bids rejected by um rejected by sarantin and then they came in with the third bid and then they've been able to land this particular player according to david austin um sarantin and then monaco have agreed a deal for the transfer of mohammed salisu from sarantin to monaco and then he will make his medicals next week um he will be having his medicals and then we'll see how things go so after the medicals is a player for monaco and may trust us that we are going to bring you a lot more fantastic news about him and um, how he fares there how he plays there and everything but what do you think about this move do you think it's a good move or you think it's a bad move i think that it's an excellent move for 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 salisu yes he's still very young 24 years he can he can he can have he can play a lot more yes and then he's a top quality player we've shown he's, he's shown it um at a world cup at at Southampton, even at valladolid in the spanish la liga at his age he has played in the english premier league he has played in the spanish la liga and in fact in the english premier league against teams like manchester city man united and all those big clubs he showed that he's a quality player there is no two ways about that and then when he came to the black stars to in fact he's the first defender to score um, a world cup goal for the senior national team the black stars so he scored a goal for the black stars he did very well in terms of his main duty when it comes to defending um the ball and going to france and going to a big team like monaco one you'll be paid war well. two you get a time to settle no pressure time to deliver and then convince everybody and then also the time to develop into becoming a very world-class player you get a point so i think that it's an excellent move for mohammed salisu and monaco always have the chance to be playing in the champions league and then qualifying and doing very well in the uefa champions league so if they get a chance to come to europe then you also have the chance to be doing very well and then showing everyone else that this is your quality so i think that the mohammed salisu deal is a top top quality move and then uh, we wish him all the best and we hope that he goes there and deliver and deliver very well Thank you very much for staying with us on this channel and joining me once again for yet another quick update I brought, I brought you here. Do all well to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and select all. Like this video and leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any. It's always, always a pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very, very much. Bye-bye.